Hi boys and girls, welcome tonight again to Pajama Prayers. I'm so glad you're with me. It always makes me so happy when you join me on Saturday evening. I look forward to it. Um, and I do hope that you're catching Studio Adventures on Sunday evenings at 8 o'clock. Well, that's a great show too. We have lots of fun there. And I think you'll really enjoy it. And by the way, did you know that if you miss it, it's rebroadcast during the week, so you can go back and catch it then. But I do hope you'll be there on Sunday, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock with me. That's the most fun when you're there with me. All right, so we're going to begin Pajama Prayers tonight with our Hello Game. And we're going to play it just a little bit different from what we've done before. This time, I have some musical instruments to help me out. I have a triangle. I have a tambourine. <laughs> I couldn't think of it for a minute there. And then I have some bells. So we're going to use those to tap out a rhythm and you're going to repeat the rhythm. So you have to remember the rhythm that I give you. Anyway, you'll figure it out as we go along. So as usual, we're going to start out with our magnetic board and I have the letters. And the first thing you need to do is decide on the first letter in your first name. All right, what letter does your name begin with? My name is Joy. My name begins with the letter J. All right, and that's how it is. So I'm gonna choose some letters from my pile of letters. I have chosen a V, the letter B, a D, the letter A, the letter O, how about a Y, a P, a T, and the letter R. I think maybe we'll stop with the R. Let's add one more letter. Let's do a Q. Now take a look at my letters. Does your name begin with any of these letters? All right, if it does, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to put that down, and I am going to use my triangle, and I am going to ring out a rhythm for you, and you are going to repeat it. Are you ready? I'm going to, I'll do the rhythm, then I'll count to three, and you'll repeat it back with your hand claps, okay? Can you do that? So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna clap them out. Ready? On three, one, two, three. Very good. All right. Yay! Okay, so let's move these letters off the board and let's choose a new group of letters. Our letters this time will be the letter L, the letter N, a U, that's a yellow U by the way, a C, the letter E, an X, put that there, the letter S, the letter H, and the letter G. Take a look at my letters. If your name begins with any of these letters, get ready. You are going to clap out this rhythm. Listen carefully for the rhythm and remember it. I'm gonna see if I can use my tambourine to do this. All right, your rhythm is Okay, I'm gonna do it again. All right, let's see if you can do it on three. One, two, three. Very good, all right. So that was your rhythm that you clapped out. Let's move these letters 
and let's give them a shout out too. Yeah! Okay. Last group of letters is a W, the letter M, the letter K, an I, a Z, a J, I always get excited when I pull the letter J because that's my letter. And the letter F. Does your name begin with any of these letters? If it does, you are going to clap out this rhythm. And I'm going to use my bells for this. Listen carefully. That one's a little bit difficult, isn't it? Because the bells kept ringing. So let's try it. One, two, three. Are you ready? <laughs> and yay! Another one for you guys. Way to go. Okay. So let's put this aside. I think that it is time for us to go ahead and get started with our story. Let me tell you a little bit about that story. Let me clear this away. The name of our story tonight is God Gave Us Sleep. And it's a great story about going to bed and getting a good night's rest. Now there's two words in here that you need to know, two vocabulary words. The first one is rhythm, and I used that in our hello game, that word, but I just wanna make sure you understand what it means. So rhythm is a repeated pattern of either sounds, or movement, um, beats, and we think of it a lot in music, rhythm, but actually other things have rhythm as well, so that's what rhythm means. The next word you need to know is caribou. Caribou is an animal, and caribou looks a lot like a big deer, a big daddy deer, because daddy deer has antlers, now, the big difference between caribou and deer is that both the mommy and the daddy have antlers. And caribou actually lives up where the weather is really cold. So that's the difference. So you'll understand a little bit better the story knowing those two vocabulary words. So we're going to get ready and go to our story door. And uh, I hope you're comfortable and all settled in and ready to watch. God Gave Us Sleep by Lisa Berggren Little cub, Mom called. It's time for bed. Oh, Mama, little cub said. I don't want to. We're building an igloo. I see that, Mom said. You can start again in the morning. Okay, said little cub, dragging her paws toward the house. Are the twins asleep, she whispered. Yes, Mama said. They've been asleep for an hour already. I don't need as much rest cause I'm bigger. That you are. But all cubs need a good night's sleep. Even you, even Papa, even us. God gives us work time and play time and rest time too. Why does he want us to rest? It's just how he made us. But why? I think playing is a whole lot more fun than sleeping. God gave us rest so we have energy for our day and patience to enjoy it. And, she said, her voice hushed, so we have quiet time to listen to him. Now into bed with you, little cub. It's time for a good night's sleep. Little Cub knew it was time for sleep, but she wasn't quite ready. Can I have a glass of water? She asked as Mom tucked her in. Yes, sighed Mama. Now, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. All right, Mama said, but hurry. Hurry. 
Can you read me a story? Sure. Choose your favorite. Can you read me one more story, please? Okay, but just one more. Aren't you going to pray? Of course, Mama said, touching her nose to little cubs. For a good night's sleep. Mama was almost out the door when little cub said, mm, Mama? Yes, little cub? What if God doesn't give me a good sleep? What if I get one of those bad, scary dreams? Mama turned and knelt by her bed. We should pray for good dreams and for a good sleep. And then they did just that. No matter what happens tonight, little cub, Mama said, remember that God is the maker of everything in our world, including our imagination, where our dreams come from. He can give you a good sleep, if you say so. Oh, I know so, said Mama. Trust him and think about how he keeps us safe, like the biggest, best bear you ever met. Think happy thoughts, got it? Got it. Good. Sleep tight, little cub. Mama closed the door and little cub flipped over and flopped over and wrestled with the covers. She couldn't sleep for very long. Good morning, Mama said. Did you have a good sleep? Ugh. Uh-oh. Did you have bad dreams again? No. You said to think happy thoughts, so I thought about the igloo. But then my mind was too busy. And all I could think about was what I wanted to do today. Mama let out a deep breath. <sighs> oh, that would keep a cub's mind busy. Well, have some breakfast. Then out you go. Well, after she ate, little cub raced outside and worked hard on her igloo with her friends. But as the day went on, she got grumpier and grumpier. She yelled at the pesky otters, and she fought over the shovel. She walked off in a huff when Bonnie the bunny wouldn't let her open the gate first. Everyone's making me so mad. <coughs> Little cub grumbled, slamming the door behind her. You might be feeling cranky because you didn't get a good night's sleep, Mama said. God gave us rest as part of our daily rhythm. Rhythm like a song? Yes. Work and rest. Play and rest. Work and rest. Play and rest. Mama Bear said, dancing with her. That's how it's supposed to go. Little Cub dragged through dinner and dragged through dishes. And when Papa said it was time to go to bed, she didn't complain. After they tucked her in and prayed for good dreams, Little Cub said with a yawn, I'm glad that God gave us sleep. I'm tired. Us too, Mama said, kissing her nose. Mwah. Then together they prayed for a quiet mind, happy dreams, and a good sleep. Little Cub closed her eyes and felt the edge of sleep like the best of blankets covering her. Soon she dreamed of the most awesome iceberg slide in the Arctic. And she dreamed of riding on a caribou sled through the mountains. And she dreamed of flying up and among the northern lights. Until she woke up to a beautiful new morning. Stretching, little cub looked outside and thought about how she couldn't wait to be with her friends. Even Bonnie and the pesky otters. And she was glad so glad that God gave her a good night's sleep. The End Oh, 
Oh my gracious, I'm sorry. I was dozing off there, taking a little nap. That story made me kind of sleepy. <laughs> Did it make you sleepy? Boys and girls, how many of you give your mommy or daddy a hard time when they tell you it's time for you to go to bed? I bet a lot of you do. I did when I was a little girl. Yeah, you go, I don't want to go to bed. I'm not sleepy. And you know you are. But it's really hard for us to stop what we're doing, especially when we're having fun, and go to bed. But we have to remember that rest is very, very important. Rest, we need rest so that our muscles will get strong again, they can have a little break, so that we can just kind of relax and just, just be refreshed. And that's why it's so important. I do have a story. You know, God set an example for that. He created the world, when he created the world, six days he worked and on the seventh day he rested. He set an example for us that we need to rest. So I'm going to read you a scripture like I always do from the Bible that talks about rest. And it is found in Psalms, Psalms 37 and verse 7. And it says to be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Did you know that our bodies don't just need rest, but we need time to slow down so that we can remember how much God loves us. And we can listen to his voice so that we can do what he asks us to do. And we can be refreshed in him. So it's very, very important, boys and girls, not just to get quiet and have a rest at night, but to also take some time and meditate on the Lord and think about how good he is to us and how he's taking care of us. And it, it helps us to get rid of our, our fears and our worries and our anxiety and just refreshes us because we can be confident that he's watching out for us when we close our eyes and go to sleep. Boys and girls, bow your heads with me, please. We're going to pray and ask Jesus to just be with us this week and help us to rest in him. Father in heaven, thank you so much. We love you from the bottom of our hearts and thank you that you provided time for us to rest. So help us, Lord, as we go into each evening and our mommies and our daddies call us in and get us ready for bed, help us to rest in you. Let our fears and our worries go aside, Lord Jesus, and help us to think about you and relax in you and have a good night's rest. In the name of Jesus, we ask these things. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you do have a good night's rest tonight and all the rest of this week. Turn to someone there with you and say, you were worth more than you know capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Boys and girls, have a great week. I love you to pieces.